Apologies for the lies and in- My goal was always to free these poor souls. Kazan. I used to be like them. Powerless. Spat upon. But Lord Jigo granted me a place by his side. Lifted me from my wretched position. And it made me who I am today. I only wanted to do the same for them. To give them a place. And that you have. We'll gladly fight for you, brothers. What? Let us fight by your side. For your nation. You're free. I can't get you involved in my struggle. We're free to repay the debt we owe you, then. We want to follow you. This path you talk of, I reckon it leads to a brighter world. For that, my brothers and I will fight once more. I... I don't know what to say. Only know that I am grateful. If you'll have me, my prince, this eagle would like to join your merry band as well. A drink. Tonight we toast. Kassan, this was your plan all along, wasn't it? And this, you knew they'd join our cause. <laughs> My reputation was earned, my prince. But I must admit, it was entirely dependent on your arrival. In any case, we must gather our strength. I will go to the post town of Ryu to make ready. I must seek out another. Raimei, our old ally. Ah, but before that, my prince, there is one more task I would ask of you. A large shipment of weapons is being delivered to the forest of Wellgrove to the west. Ku is meant to be the recipient. I want you to foil this exchange. The fewer weapons they have, the easier our work will be. If an opponent is snarling at you, defang them. A wise strategy, Kazan. Go there and meet with a merchant named Azuma. He'll provide you with particulars. I'm putting my trust in you, Kazan. The eagle puts his trust in you, Kazan. This future you've envisioned, it's worth wagering my life on. Then let us realize it together. Let us return peace to Kuhn.
Everybody! You hear that? What a pleasant sound. I could listen to it all day. That's a lute, an instrument well loved in Ku. was beautiful. It's been too long since I've heard the melodies of a lute in the air. Far and wide people speak of me in awe. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that. They call me Yomi of a Thousand Tones. Wow, what a name! I've traveled to every corner of this world, taking in my fill of its music along the way. I have a song for every occasion, every place, every person. <sighs> You've piqued my interest. Let's have one then. Gladly. Provided you have the coin. My thousand tones were mastered at great effort, after all. It you have money, right, Hikari? Hmm. Will this do? Is this enough, Lady Yomi? This shall buy you a song. One that will fit you as well as your finest kimono. However... Hmm? I require time to make ready. Return to me tomorrow eve, and you shall have what you paid for. Ah! Behind every great show is hours of preparation. Just so. Now gird your hearts, for tomorrow they shall be moved as they never have been before. Welcome, welcome! My audience of two has arrived! Now, listen well, and be carried away by my thousand tones. Hmm? Huh? Something seems... different about her, doesn't it? Yes, it appears she's already spent our payment on those fine clothes. Alas, I must apologize, for I cannot carry you away just yet. I've come into a spot of trouble, you see. You have? Look here. The string of my loot has frayed. Without replacements, I fear... That our song will have to wait? Indeed. It is tantamount to asking a soldier to charge into battle with a broken sword. Oh, we wouldn't want that happening. If I recall, loot strings are made from the hair of a horse's tail, yes? Indeed, there is but one man nearby with the means to help. But he is not one to offer his aid lightly. He'll have no truck with a wanderer such as I. He scarcely acknowledges my existence. Reminds me of Papa. Then maybe you can help him see reason. Can I count on you? You don't need to ask. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh. 
Will this work, Yomi? Oh, I believe it will! This is finer than I could have imagined! I see you too can move the hearts of others. <laughs> you might be right about that. With this, I can craft a string worthy of my skill. However, I fear the moment is not right for such a performance. Pray come again tomorrow, and I promise that my melody shall lift you to the heavens. Somehow I'm not surprised. The wait will make the music sound all the sweeter. Be patient, Hikari. If you insist. You're generous with the benefit of the doubt, I see. We were looking for you. Do you ever stay in the same spot? My sincerest apologies for the trouble. However, I had no choice but to go where I could best drink in the beauty of tonight's moon. You're right. It's enchanting. I wanted its dulcet rays to alight upon my lute as I played your song. Tonight, I perform upon a stage like no other, with string and garb equal to the occasion. All thanks to you, my most honored audience of two. I hope this is worth the trouble. It will be. I assure you. Now, listen. I've never... I've never heard such a song before. I was moved, but somehow... I feel so... so sad. <sighs> By the light of the heart, a favorite of mine. The clothes, the strings, the moon, and they must be just so. It is the only way to perform this song correctly. Yomi, 
Why did you choose this song to play for us? I have heard it before. I had a friend who would often play the lute for me. She always struck warm tones to match the warmth in her heart. Her name was Tsuki. Uh, was? But you played the song much differently than she did. You painted it with melancholy. Well then, our business is concluded. I shall take my leave. Father told me, when you have finished your job, come and join me in Winterbloom. He failed to give me any other details, but he never does. I believe the snakes have a stronghold on the outskirts. He'll be there. I'm sure of it. I should learn more about this job and wait for an opening. And once I find it, I will kill father.
He's not here. Well, well, look who showed up. You really are a beauty. Hmm? Why don't you come have some fun with us? I don't have time to play with children. <laughs> How about you take a look around? There's three of us, and only one of you. Besides, we were told we could have our way with you. So be a good girl, and we'll make it worth your while. <laughs> <sighs> I've had more than I can stand of these brats. Time to put them to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> well done, my girl. Father. Neither dead nor alive, robbed only of their movement. It takes an experienced hand to perform a feat like that. Thank you. Children these days are so simple. A few leaves is all it takes to win someone's obedience. I told them a beautiful woman would be visiting, and that they could take whatever liberties they wanted with her. <laughs> I'm sure they're dreaming of you as we speak. <laughs> oh, don't look so cross, girl. I was only joking. Enough. I deal with your antics every time we work together. But you've grown because of it. You're the best in the nest now. I take it you finish the last job then. Was that also meant as a joke? You mean tricking my children into killing each other? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I want you to be my successor. Once we finish this job, the throne's all yours. I don't want it. I came here to kill you. I will find an opening. I must. Time to get to work. I'll tell you more when we get there. Come find me when you're ready. I'll be waiting on the eastern side of town. Understood. There you are. As I expected, no openings, even from behind. But Father is sure to let us guard down sometime. The moment he strikes the killing blow on his target. No matter how skilled the assassin, they haven't a thought to spare on anything else at that moment. That's my opening. That's when I will kill Father. Why have we come here? To see the snow hares. They're a thieves' guild that call this town home. They used to be on good terms with the Black Snakes, but they've been encroaching on our territory lately. Death to traitors. Precisely. 
There's one sentry at the entrance. Our job is to infiltrate the hideout and eliminate the leader of the snow hares. You will take the lead, Throne. I will provide support. Support? Father and I have worked countless jobs together. But he was always the one to deliver the final blow. We both knew that his dagger wouldn't miss. What is he thinking? Could he have seen through my plan? What's the matter, Throne? This is no more than a test to see what you're truly capable of. <sighs> this is... unexpected. Now I have to do the job and wait for another chance. Understood, Father. Do you remember our first job, Throne? Why? I want to know if you've grown used to the smell of blood. I'll be back. Good night. Killing him would be safer. Corpses don't come after you. But I refuse to spill blood unless I must. I hate the way it makes me feel. I wonder when it all began. When did my hands begin to waver? Please, don't kill me! Go on, give it a try. I can't do it. You're still young and naive, Throne. You're wasting your sympathy. He's the worst sort of scum there is. <sighs> Come now, Throne. Once you kill him, you'll understand. You'll see how intoxicating the smell of blood can be. Soon enough, you'll want to spread it on your bread like butter. I'd rather have raspberries. <laughs> but of course. Everyone is born with a gift. The gods bestow us all with the job only we can do. It is our fate. Your gift was wielding a dagger, Throne. If you want to live, you must learn to kill. Just as I expected. How was it, my dear? The smell of blood. I hate it. Ever since then, I killed just the way Father taught me. I can't remember how many lives I've taken. My hands are forever tainted with the stench of blood. But soon, soon I will put this life behind me.
there. Please, please. Please help me. If you don't, they'll sell me away. Huh? I heard a rumor. They say the snow hares kidnap girls for trade. Please, help me. I will help you, but after my job here is done. Sit tight. Thank you. You're a kind woman. Now, to find out who's behind all this. this do? Interesting. I'll do what I must. Oh dear. Now it begins. Allow me. My turn. It's my turn now. Arrow of fortune. Easy now. Prepare yourself. Uh, how's this? What to do? <laughs> now then! Uh, arrow of fortune! Sorry! To work. Flames burn bright! Doing time. <laughs> Expertly done, thrown in. May my arrows be next. I still have much to learn. I suggest you get out of my way. Here I come. 
How's this? My turn. Cleaning time. Now it begins. How's this? Oh dear. Let's have a look. Where was I? I won't back down. Flames burn bright. That's that. Ready? Now then! Arrow of fortune! This is my chance! My turn. May my arrows be good! Game time. Here I come. May my arrows strike through. Time to shot! Arrow of fortune! I did it! I wasn't expecting that! May my arrows be good. My turn. Here I come. May my arrows strike through. Time to shine. I can do whatever I set my arrow of fortune. Sorry. Even if I stumble, I'll get back up. Prepare yourself. May my arrows strike now! To work. I think not. Oh, I think not. Ready? Here I come. May my arrows strike. Who's next? Now then, you don't want to miss this! Arrow of fortune! I did it! <laughs> Thank you! Out of my way. Here I come. May my arrow strike through. It's my turn now. Arrow of fortune. What to do? Where was I? I think not. There I think not. <laughs> All right, arrow of fortune. This is my chance. Skillfully done, Amphia. May my arrows strike. 
streaming tab. Oh god, it's not my turn. I'll end that spell. Now that I'm ready to do whatever I set my mind. Arrow of fortune, sorry! Even if I stumble, get back up. I suggest you get out of my way. Cleaning time. There! Oh dear. Let's have a look. My turn. Uh, may my arrows fly now! Time to shine! My turn. Now then. Arrow of fortune, sorry! Even if I stumble, I'll get back up. Time to clean up the filth. Ready? Here I come. Stand aside or fight. My turn. Where was I? Let's have a look. My turn. How's this? Now then! This is what it means! Uh, arrow of fortune! I did it! My turn. To work. I did not! Prepare yourself. May my arrow strike good! There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Now it begins. Come and get me. My turn. I've come to clean up the filth. That tattoo. You're one of the black snakes. I take it you've come to talk about our little territory issue. <sighs> the black snakes have long been our allies, but the snow hares, we're capricious creatures. The snakes have grown old. They're not as tough as they used to be. The fact that they've sent a weak little girl like you just proves it. Enough talk. Why not see how weak this little girl is for yourself? I accept your challenge. I'm through with you. 
I've set my sights on strong allies. The death of the Black Snakes is nigh. Now to clean up the filth. Prepare yourself. How's this? What to do? Very well. Let's have a look. Cleaning time. Oh dear. Let's have a look. It's my turn now. This is what it means to be a star. I can do whatever I set my mind to. Can I have this? Here I come. My blood boils! My turn. I fight for my friends. Come. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. It appears your own end is nigh. Please, spare me. I'll do anything you ask. <sighs> oh, I'll even lick your shoes. And not just the top, I'll lick the bottom too. Yes, gladly. You disgust me. No! Please! Spare me! Sorry. Don't take it personally. Even the most skilled assassin is vulnerable the moment he strikes a killing blow. Isn't that right, Throne? Father! Don't worry, you'll live. I didn't hit any vitals. You upheld my teachings well, child. But that won't be enough to kill me. So you knew. Of course I did. I'm your father, after all. I can see through all your schemes. You would be dead now had I wanted that. <laughs> Help! Silence her. What did I do wrong, Throne? I cared for you more than any of my other children. I'm tired of this life. I want to leave the Black Snakes. And to do so, I must kill you. I see. 
<laughs> oh, Throne, you truly are my daughter. When you're ready, come to Montwise. I'll be waiting for you there. Then we can put an end to all of this. Father... I couldn't even move. She's gone. I was too late. Father never let his guard down. Not once. I don't know if I can defeat him head on. But I have to try. Montwise. That's where he'll be. I must go there, if I'm ever to be free.